start with the opening statement, and then we'll hear from the players. Okay. I've heard me say this a few times. I don't like it, but it was a heck of a college basketball game if you don't care who won. But I do care who wins. And I'm really proud of uh, these two guys up here beside me because I thought they really did some big time things for us. Um, looked like we were out of it and kept playing and kept playing and got a chance and got back in it, but you don't get points for that. You don't get wins for that. But, uh, I'm proud of the way they competed down the stretch. We made a bunch of uh, mistakes that hurt us. And yet, at the same time, you have to congratulate uh, Kentucky. I mean, Malik was off the charts. And made three of his last four shots, two of them from three. Uh, didn't have to make those, but he did. And it was some big time shots for them. But uh, again, uh, Joel and Justin, and they both played their tails off. Joel, Joel coming back after being out for two weeks and made some big time shots. Both these guys did. Luke did. So we did some things. I've got to do a better job of getting them to not make him some mistakes that hurt us, but uh, it was a heck of a college game. Uh, Roy, uh, Monk's been shooting well from the perimeter all along. How does he keep doing that when teams know to you know try to make him drive? Well, he's, he's really good. I saw him put on a show in Augusta at the Peace Jam when he was a high school player and I uh, thought he was a heck of a player. And loved him and tried to recruit him. I didn't feel like we were going to get him, but uh, he put on a show. And, you know, we uh, we had a chance. I uh, thought Joel got hit a little bit when he drove through there, and then all of a sudden Joel's on the ground, and they're running up at us, and, and Malik's got the ball. And so Kenny picked up, uh, I'm just trying to play it to get in my mind, Kenny picked up Joel's man that left Isaiah on Malik, and Isaiah, uh, post player, not real comfortable out there, a guy at three-point line, but Malik, it didn't bother him. He just jumped up and made a three. Uh, but he's really good. Uh, uh, I thought we made him work for it, but it's hard to say you feel good about your defense. The guy gets 47. I mean, you have to congratulate him. I mean, it's, it's pretty doggone good. Just a reminder, if we can have questions for the players first, and then we'll excuse them, and then we'll let Coach answer this. Joel, at what point this week did you start feeling healthy enough to, to play full speed, and, and how did practice go the last two days for you? Yeah, um, I mean, I think my first full practice was uh, Thursday before we left. And um, still felt a little uncomfortable, but when we got here, I mean, uh, just sitting just sitting down and resting my ankle, uh, once we got here, it felt pretty good. And um, I mean, as you could tell out there, I, I was pretty good, but um, I mean, uh, I was just glad I was able to get back out there with the guys and be able to compete. So, so. Oh, there you go. Justin, uh, there was a stretch in the first half where you were playing some four. There was obviously foul trouble with some of the other bigs, and you were able to get some stuff in the paint and get to the foul line a lot. Just kind of go through that stretch and 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 what were, kind of advantage did you have during that period? Um, I mean, I think they started with Briscoe and me, um, and Briscoe is a heck of a player. Um, I mean, but there's a five inch difference there. Um, so I think I was able to get some things going in the paint. So then they switched off and put. Um, I think it was Willis on me. Um, I mean, he just he, he wasn't as mobile as Isaiah. Um, so for me, I just tried to get in some space um, and just try to make a play. Like you said, I got to the line. 10 for 15, that's five points. We could have won the game. Um, so that's on me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just tried to make some plays. Joel, I know you didn't guard Malik a whole lot, but. You know, you grew on him a bit. What do you think made him so effective aside from just making shots? And then if you could just put in perspective kind of what he did out there today. Yeah, um, he just got it going early. And once he was hot, you know, it was hard to stop him. And I don't think we did a good job of making him uncomfortable. And I think that's why he was able to, uh, to get as hot as he did. And that's on us. And we just can't let a player like that, you know, beat, beat us. I mean, he had well, at one point, almost half of their points. So um, we just gotta make sure, someone like that. We just gotta make sure they're uncomfortable and don't, you know, get so hot so early. So. <clears throat> Any other questions for the players? Uh, for both of you guys, you're down by ten with I think seven minutes to play. Riley come back, take the lead, and then weren't able to execute enough to, to get the win. What do you take away from this game from a from learning perspective? 
Uh, I mean, we were right there against one of the best teams in the country. Um, and I guess that's all you can take from it. I mean, we made a, we kept fighting, um, which is what I'm extremely proud of everybody on that team. Um, and we were right there. There's just a couple of things that we got to we got to fix, um, and I think it's they're very fixable for us. Um, and this this will I think end up being you know a great learning experience for us. Yeah, I would say I would say the same thing. Um, coach stresses in practice every single day that every play in the game is very important, and I think that game showed uh, showed us that it is important and. Um, that's what we have to take from it. Every single time we get out there on the court, no matter what and no matter who it is, we got to make sure that that play that we're on, that, uh, that is important to us. And um, I just like how we competed, and so we just have to learn from that. You know, one thing about it, too, is that we did, at the end, we got some good shots because guys stepped up and made some big time shots. You know, the last play, we always said, I'd rather fight or go against the defense. It's not set. And, um, I thought the stars and moons were aligned for Isaiah, and I saw Wendy and Gabriel guarding him, and I thought we could get it to Isaiah on the block, and uh, uh, it didn't work out. The kid did a great job defensively, but uh, Justin saying something about missing the free throws, it's, it's part of the game. I, mean, I can look back, shoot, I got a technical foul, and that gave him two points also. Uh, you know, so it's, every play is important, but uh, again, Justin, Joel, and, uh, Luke, some of those guys that make those big time plays down the stretch for us. They'll benefit from it, uh, but we do have some mistakes. I both the guys have said that we've got to, uh, we can't give them that many offensive chances by getting them offensive rebounds. They got five chances at it on time. And, uh, so it's it's a game of basketball. You learn and live and hope you live yeah. while you're still learning and at the end be able to do something about it. Do we have a last question for the players? Joe and Justin, thank you. Okay, and if you do want the other players, you should come now. I know you make a choice of the coach, but they've been waiting. Steve Sanchez, good to see you. And it's okay if you don't have anything. <laughs> uh, coach, what happened on, with that technical foul? Can you go back and replay that moment? Well, it, it, uh, it, was, it had an effect on the game because it was two points, but that was my fault. I shouldn't do that, but I, I didn't understand. Uh, I mean, our guys laying on the floor. All he was doing was laying on the floor, but uh, the referee called it, and then the referee called the tape on me. It's what he should have done, but uh, I didn't understand that. I didn't understand what I was told, but uh, uh, it's part of the game as well. Uh, I've never heard it that if a guy's laying on the floor, it's not a defensive position, and the foul's got to be on him. But uh, that was, I was more mad uh, because it felt like it's well fair to Isaiah. I think he's. Get some of the worst breaks any player I've ever seen on foul calls. But uh, we had three of the best officials in the entire country calling the game today. Uh, they, John was mad sometimes, John was happy sometimes, Roy was mad sometimes, Roy was happy sometimes. But uh, I was more for us frustrated because it was Isaiah than I would have been if it had been any other player because I just think that uh, his reputation makes me feel like, you know, the guy's well, that four is involved, so this guy foul's got to be on him. But I mean, give me a break. We had three of the best officials in the country over there. They should have called a technical on Roy Williams. I don't think I've had one in a couple of years, so probably it's time. <laughs>